Well, Vicky started strongly, obviously. What was the, um, the difference in, in the momentum shift, do you think? Um, I'd like to know, Michael. I think, you know, we don't want to underestimate. I think there's going to be a lot of um, momentum swings through matches. The, the, we just we couldn't get out of our own way in the last quarter. In, in all honesty, the, uh, it was almost typical the players that have been struggling have had uh, the interrupted pre seasons really did struggle in the last quarter. And the compound effect is that you keep the same players on the ground. So there's some good fight backs, but certainly the last quarter was very dismal. Um, what did you make it? Warnock in the ruck seemed to be the one that, that was giving you that first clearance, and there seemed to be shifts when, when, when the ruck did change. The, yeah, the clearance you, can't, well, you changed. can't keep him on the ground all the time. He's, uh, you know, he's still another player that's got to do some uh, get full match fitness. You, can, you know, there's very few ruckmen are going to be able to ruck four quarters of football, mm. and Matthew Cruiser is a ruckman, and we want to make him a forward ruckman. Uh, it's up to him now to. To grab that opportunity, I'm not too sure even what his stats are, Chris. Nine and five. Um, he certainly got jumped over at the end, there's no question about that. And he knows that. But you know, I don't wanna I don't wanna over harp on the on the uh, on the uh, what I say, the, the lead up, but you know, Matthew missed he couldn't run before Christmas. And and it doesn't matter how fit these blokes are training fitness, match fitness is something else, and it doesn't matter how big their heart is. Matthew's got a fantastic heart. So the more he plays, the better he's going to get. So he's just got to get games under him. Um, I think it's pretty well documented. We had a, had a number of players with those sort of conditions uh, from pre-season. And it's, it's honestly, in, in today's football, it's just going to take match after match to get that hardness. And Ken said himself that when you come to play Port, you know you're going to play a hard-running side. That's what they are. They they will run sides off their feet. Did they? Were they the worst sort of opponent to cop first up, given oh, that no, no, limited no. preparation? No, we were, we were we went into the game confident that we could we could match them in in uh, certain areas. I mean, look, they, there's no question they blew us away totally in the last quarter. I mean, that, that's just a fact of life. I mean, statistical will show it, scoreboard will show it, and and. You don't need stats and you don't need to know a lot about football to, to see that they dominated the last quarter. There's no question about that. Um, the same side last year, we, we ran over mm. to make the finals. You know, it, it's just, that's the way it is. We, we just got to get some time into some of our blokes that haven't had the lead up that perhaps a lot of other players have had. It's not an excuse, it's just simply that's the way it is. The, the, they're, they're willing, but their bodies have got to be hard for, for match football. Um, you know, there's, there's, a, there's a compounding effect, and I've said it before, that players' rules these days means, you, you know, if you've, you can't really touch them for a month before Christmas, and then not far back and you get a couple of games of footy, it's not really enough. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't like to draw a, a line through sides that lose in the first round. I said it uh, when it was a press conference yesterday, that it's going to throw up a lot of variables and as sides get balanced and get a few blokes back or start getting hardened, there'll be a mixture of results. Well, is that a fair um, assessment that Ken Hinckley makes that the rest of the competition does think Port Adelaide's going to be a side that's going to be hard to run over because they are fast finishing, strong finishing? Sorry, what was that? But Ken Hinckley's line that if you're playing Port Adelaide, you're going to know you're going to get against us. Oh, that's, that's, look, it's a, it's a great thing to have um, on statistics of last year. They did overrun a lot of sites. Yeah. And, you know, if that's... Are they doing any more work than anyone else? I, I, I'm not too sure. I, we haven't followed their training all the way through. Uh, have they got some magical formula? I wouldn't suspect so. They're, they're, there's no doubt about their running capability. But are they better than anyone else? Um, I think time will tell. Uh, we've seen size uh, on this weekend have magnificent last quarter. So I, I, I certainly wouldn't be sitting here and saying that through the year they're going to be um, percentages, and I couldn't draw a percentage, which one, uh, more than and better running than, than anyone else. You've got natural runners and you've got a, a physical side that, that can run. So. They've probably got more natural runners than, than, say, some sides. I'm not saying all sides. But I wouldn't like to 
to say that we sit here at three quarter time thinking, well, you know, you need to be five in front of Port to beat them. You know, that's, that's never been really the issue. But if he can convince them that they're invincible, it's, it's an art in itself. Yeah. Mick, what are you doing the next 10 days? Do you train some players up for some for a big game against Richmond? No, we'll just, we'll just take it the way we, we have. There's no, no magical formulas. you can just got to get, get going and work hard. Given what you're saying, that, that players will get better for the runs they have, you know, mm. the interrupted pre-seasons, etc. How concerned about you? How concerned are you about tonight? Or is it just a is that just something that's just happened and you just keep progressing? No, well, we didn't want it to happen. Yeah, we picked sure. a side to win. We mm. picked the we picked a physically sure. fit side. This is not we're not taking shortcuts with blokes. We're just saying that they're not match hardened. Yeah. All these blokes that stepped out in that field are physically fit and ready to go. Um, some played one, some played two, mm. uh, very few played three games. Mm. And you've just got to get your head around the fact that it's, sides will start differently and sides will finish differently. And you know, We didn't want to come away saying, today we got blown out. We didn't want to get blown out of the wood in the last quarter. We mm. didn't sit here three quarter time of um, sorry, at uh, match committee thinking we're going to get blown out of the water. We had ample rotations ready to, to, to go into the last quarter. We had uh, a fit side, mm. as in terms of physical fitness. Yeah. No, we weren't down a man or anything like that. Mm. That's why we left it in the last quarter to bring on Menzel. Mm. Because um, at that stage, we we're probably expecting that someone, the first player that cramped up was going to come off. Mm. Uh, and, and even in that case, Bell didn't cramp up, so we just made a decision to, to take him off. Well, how many rotations did you use in the end? I couldn't really tell you. Someone got it there? No, we don't, we don't get the number either. Um, I don't think I've got it on here. No, I don't think I have it on here. So what's, what's the biggest adjustment you then make? On the bench there, in terms of making sure you don't go over. Well, I don't. Oh, I don't. No, yeah, you get a warning, but when I say get a warning, I, I think we do. It, it's there. It's the last thing I need to worry about as a coach is, is the number. It's there'll be a stop to that at some stage to say, look, hang on, you're going too many. I, I think you just got to you've got to weigh it up. Do you go hell for it early, hold back, um, weigh it up in the quarters? So we're in we're in new ground here. So all, all bit. I could say that we rarely went over 120 to 130 last year, so we're, we're about that mark. It never, it never become a problem to us to say that we've used too many. In fact, if I I knew how many we had to half time, and I think we had a pretty good mix in the third quarter, and I can't remember how many we had in the last quarter, but they were there. We, we weren't denied rotations in the last quarter, so it wasn't as if we used them all up and said, we're going to get flogged. No, we had enough numbers, so that, that's certainly not a, not a reason. As a follow-up to your Premiership window observation yesterday, does this, I guess, highlight how competitive it's going to be this it's season with clubs, I guess, pushing to get up into that Premiership window? Well, it's, let's not worry about Round 22. Let's worry about Round 2 now. It was Round 1 yesterday, so Round 2 now. It's not a matter of whether, whether we're in the window or not. It's a matter of making sure you win enough games of football. It's the last thing that that be on our mind or when he plays mind is where's the window and how are we approaching it. There's going to be, as I said yesterday, nine winners, nine losers as a draw. We have now fallen out and dropped again, so we are now one of the ones that is going to be one of nine. So, and at the end of next round, there'll be some that have won two, some have lost two, and there'll be a lot of probably won one and lost one. It's just the nature of the game. There's no one you can take lightly these days. And Andrew, uh, Andrew Walker's game. Uh, free kicks, report, 50 metre penalty. Um, what did you make of his ability to control his emotions? Uh, well, I'd have to look at that. I haven't really taken a great deal of what he give away for. I'll have a look at that. Thanks, guys.